Alright, so this light show I told you guys I can see from my patio every night. See those great, 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 great big green boxes with the black things on top? Those are the spotlights and there's like a whole bunch of them all down the beach. And there's a whole bunch more on that beach across the way. So that's what I can see uh, at night uh, is these spotlights. And I guess they've got security guards on them all day just to make sure people behave. The intention today up until this moment was to go to Granville Island and see the exhibits and stuff that are there. Um, but I'm getting close to the ferry lineup now. And uh, while I didn't expect there to be no lineup, I'm just wondering how long that lineup will take because I don't want to get over there and then be trapped and not be able to get back when I need to get back. Because I do have specific evening plans tonight. You guys can see me holding the camera in my glasses, can you? <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I'm going to go down there and see how fast the line's moving. But I have no guarantee to line up back here to my my homeland. <laughs> um, won't be five times longer later. So I don't know if I'm going to go. Um, my brother just called and said he was on his way into town from the burbs with a friend. So maybe I'll just blow off Granville Island for today and um, try another day. Maybe a weekday. <clears throat> Pardon me. Maybe a weekday. And just go see if I can hook up with my brother for the afternoon. It sounds like more fun somehow than wandering around on my own um, trying to wait for lineups go into exhibits. Anyway, uh, so we'll see. No. <laughs> Alright, just talked to my brother and he's a good hour and a half away from getting down here, so I'm going to give it a go. Uh, see how long this lineup, or how fast this lineup moves. If it moves fast, I'll stick with it, and if it doesn't, I'll bail. Uh, so, that's the deal. So the lineup wasn't very long. And now I'm in the boat. Going over there below? Other people. All right, I got off the ferry and immediately regretted my decision because the ferry to go back, even though I asked somebody in line as he was getting off how long the lineup was, he said it wasn't long. Uh, whoa, it goes way down there, all the way, goes all the way back there. I don't even know where the end is. So I don't know if I'm going home at all. <laughs> Maybe I'm staying overnight is inside the market at Granville Island and to be perfectly honest it looks the same as it always does. Nothing looks different. It's always crowded and lined up in here but it, it doesn't even look any more touristy than normal. <laughs> it's just a big market. And that guy's not even new. I have to admit that I'm getting a little bit burned out on walking around through crowds now. It's just um, it's the same old, same old everywhere I go. So uh, it's still fun and exciting, but definitely Granville Island. Yeah, eh. it's more fun in the Robson, Robson Granville areas. Granville Island's not Granville Street, by the way. They're not even they don't even touch each other really. Um, everything's named Granville here. I don't know why. <laughs> Lord, after Lord Granville, I guess. Anyway, um, I don't know. There's a huge lineup for Swiss House. I mean, God. And now I really just want to get back into my own hood um, before I wind up trapped here, really, really, really trapped here uh, and having to walk all the way home, back across that big long bridge in the background. See that? Broad Street Bridge? I could always walk home. But wow, that's a long, long walk. Kind of boring because, I mean, it's beautiful, but. I'd rather be seeing stuff like more crowds on Granville Street. <laughs> anyway, whatever. I'll figure it out. Report back. Okay, I'm back in my home turf. It actually wasn't that long a lineup on the ferry. The ferry lineup that I did see that was long was going to a different location. So I'm back in my own hood now. I'm gonna Yeah, Granville Island. Granville Island was a bit of a waste of time. I'm just gonna walk back up to near my place and grab a coffee and then uh, down there the first day, the day I, I didn't vlog that day, it was raining, and uh, this huge great, great big chain link fence around the thing that you couldn't really take a picture through unless you got the chain link fence in the picture, it's been causing a huge amount of backlash, because who's the bright guy who proved that great big fence? It's for security because the media, international media center is right beside it, but why do you have to put the fence around the cauldron too. I just put the fence around the media center. Anyway, apparently they've just taken the fence down and put up a, a see-through plexiglass 
fencing or something like that. So now at least everybody can see it unobstructed except for the reflecting glass. So I might walk back there now uh, while I continue to wait for my brother to get his butt downtown and then uh, hook up with him, hang out a bit. So anyway, if you're watching this and you're in Vancouver, Granville Island, unless you really want to see Swiss House, I wait in line for a really long time to see Swiss House, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just an exercise in frustration. I really can't believe what it looks like in Vancouver right now being, you know, the middle of February. It looks like May. That's all these, I mean, I, I know what I'm showing you, showing them to you a few times, <laughs> the cherry blossoms, but seriously, it looks like May in Vancouver right now. Uh, anyway, so I was uh, just heading home to change my jacket because I was cold and my brother called and so now I'm going to go meet him. So I don't know if we're going to go to the cauldron or not, if he's going to want to. But uh, so anyway, that's what's happening next. Hopefully I can find him in this crowd because I'm back on Robson and Gramble again. Um, Gramble Street. Uh, anyway, so we'll see you soon. All right, we're down at the cauldron. My brother's here. He's behind me. I don't know if he wants to be on the vlog or not, so we won't put him there. Yeah, booyah. <laughs> booyah. Um, there's the cauldron. I still see a chain link fence, you guys, so I don't know what they're talking about. Apparently, there's some place you can see it unobstructed without the chain link fence, but I've yet to see what they're talking about. Anyway, there it is. Hey, Hindley, you're going to have to take my camera so I can get a picture of this thing. Yeah. Maybe you want to take a picture of you? Oh, is that enough excitement? All right, well, anyway, still, I still see a chain link fence. I'm disappointed. <laughs> plexiglass, you guys, is this little piece of... Instead of the fence, they put a, like one panel of plexiglass. So there's an unobstructed view of the flame. I don't want to drop my camera because if it falls behind there, it's gone forever. All right, so there you go. Oh, look, I found the landmark. Uh, you see the circles? The Olympic rings? I think it lights up at night, but... Yeah, anyway. And that's the new convention, cent convention center here in Vancouver. This is a big gulp. A, a tray. <laughs> It hasn't been open to the public yet. My brother likes to ruin things. <laughs> Brad. Oh, you gotta have fun. Yeah. There's lots of Indian art here in the Pan Pacific Hotel. You really got to come down on a weekday, Troy. <laughs> to get in to see the Canadian Mint, the coins. Yeah. I wonder how long this lineup is. I bet it's about five hours. I don't even know where the end of this is. Wow.